Hello and welcome back. This is Junhua from TCM Explained. Before we start our new series, I just want to say thank you to those who have reached out. All of your feedback, suggestions, and questions mean a lot. I appreciate your interest in learning TCM and keeping up with our past videos. From this point onwards, we are on the new series of TCM Anatomy. By anatomy, we mean the acupuncture channels and their related body tissues, sense organs, and the tongue-fu organs. In this video, we are going to introduce a system of channels and collaterals to set a foundation for what we are going to learn in this series. Acupuncture channel in Chinese is called Jing Luo. Jing means channels. These are the main branches of the channel system, which generally run up and down through our body. They are deeper in the body and they connect with the internal organs. Examples of the channels are the 12 primary channels, the 12 divergent channels, and the 8 extraordinary channels. Luo means collaterals. Collaterals are the finer branches of the channel system that are located more superficial in our body. They interconnect the channels, connective tissues, and cutaneous regions. Examples of the collaterals are the 15 lower connecting channels and the minute collaterals. Besides the channels and collaterals, there are 12 sinew channels and 12 cutaneous regions. Now let's talk about the functions of the channels. The channels link every body part into an integrated whole. Each channel connects with its related tissues, sense organs, and internal organs. Not only that, the channels themselves interconnect with each other, forming a network of channels. Being an interconnecting network, the channels act as a conduit for communication among body parts. They transport the vital substances such as qi and blood to every section of the body. Because of this function of channels, we are able to use acupuncture needles to send qi to the diseased area in efforts to bring back the balance. The channels protect the body. The channel networks have different layers. Cutaneous region is the most superficial, and the deep pathways of the primary and divergent channels are the deepest. There is something called exterior pathogenic factors, such as wind or cold, that invade our body from the exterior. Once they penetrate our skin, they will keep attacking deeper channels and even our internal organs. So different layers of channels serve as a barrier to prevent the extra pathogenic factors from penetrating deeper. Lastly, the channels can respond to dysfunctions in the body. When a certain channel itself has problems, symptoms may appear along that channel. When the related internal organ has problems, symptoms may appear along that channel as well to show that there is something wrong inside. Also, disease of one channel can be transmitted onto the other channels because the channels are interconnected to each other. Now, moving on to the 12 primary channels. Half of them are the yin channels and the other half are the yang channels. Let's take a look at them in a perspective of anatomical location. 12 primary channels all run up and down the body bilaterally and symmetrically. Six yin channels traverse the yin part of the body, such as the abdomen, chest, and inside of the arm and leg. Here are the six yin channels. The lung, pericardium, and heart channels are the yin channels of the hand. Since they are all yin channels, they are located on the inside of the arms. The lung channel occupies the anterior aspect of the inside of the arm. The pericardium channel occupies the middle aspect and the heart channel occupies the posterior aspect of the inside of the arm. The spleen, liver, and kidney channels are the yin channels of the foot. Since they are all yin channels, they are located on the inside of the legs. The spleen channel occupies the anterior aspect of the inside of the leg the liver channel occupies the middle aspect, and the kidneys channel occupies the posterior aspects of the inside of the leg. On the other hand, six yang channels traverse the yang part of the body, such as the head, back, 
and outside of the arm and leg. Here are the six yang channels. The large intestine, san jiao, and small intestine channels are the yang channels of the hand. Since they are all yang channels, they are located on the outside of the arms. The large intestine channel occupies the anterior aspect of the outside of the arms. The san jiao channel occupies the middle aspect. The small intestine channel occupies the posterior aspect of the outside of the arms. The stomach, gallbladder, and bladder channels are the yang channels of the foot. Since they are all yang channels, they are located on the outside of the legs. The stomach channel occupies the anterior aspect of the outside of the legs. The gallbladder channel occupies the middle aspect. The bladder channel occupies the posterior aspect of the outside of the legs. The name of a primary channel tells us three things about that channel. First, it tells us which tongue or full organ the channel is associated with. Second, it tells us whether the channel is on the hand or foot. Third, it tells us about the yin-yang identity of the channel according to theory of six channels. Understanding the naming of the 12 primary channels can help us better understand the relationship between channels. We already know about the yin-yang organ pairs, which is also known as the internally-externally related organ pairs. For instance, the lungs are the yin or interior organ called zhang organ, which is paired with the large intestine, the yang or exterior organ called fu organ. The 12 primary channels follow the same pairing, so the lung channel and the large intestine channel are paired together because they are in the yin-yang relationship. Rest of the five pairs of channels follow this pairing. Besides the interior-exterior pairing, there is the six channels pairing. The six channels are Taiyin, Xiaoyin, Jueyin, Yangming, Taiyang, and Xiaoyang. Among the three yin channels, Tai yin is the most yin and Jue yin is the least yin. On the other hand, Yang Ming is the most yang and Xiao Yang is the least yang. Channel that is the most yang will balance the channel that is the most yin. So Tai yin channel pairs with the Yang Ming channel. The rest is the same. Xiao yin channel pairs with Tai yang channel and Jue yin channel pairs with Xiao yang channel. Also, even though they are called six channels, they are actually 12 channels in total because each six channels has a hand and foot channels. Since the hand and foot channels are considered as one channel, we call them six channels. For instance, Tai Yin channel has two parts, the long channel of hand Tai Yin and the spleen channel of foot Tai Yin. Although the long channel of hand tai yin is on the arm and the spleen channel of foot tai yin is on the leg, they both traverse the anterior aspect of the inside of the extremities. And the rest of the channels follow the same. As we can see, the 12 primary channels are distributed throughout the body in a certain pattern. Now let's look at how they are connected to each other to form a complete circuit around the body. The lung, pericardium, and heart channels are the three yin channels of hands, and they start from the chest, go along the inner aspect of the arms, and end at the hands. The large intestine, san jiao, and small intestine channels are the three yang channels of hands, and they start from the hands, go along the outer aspect of the arms, and end at the head. The stomach, gallbladder, and bladder channels are the three yang channels of the foot, and they start from the head, go along the outer aspect of the legs, and end at the feet. The spleen, liver, and kidneys channels are the three yin channels of the foot, and they start from the feet, go along the inner aspect of the legs, and end at the chest. Here is a complete diagram that shows the qi circulation in the 12 primary channels. That was a lot of information, so let's look at this diagram and review what we learned just now. There are 12 primary channels. 
all the yin channels are in the left column and all the yang channels are in the right column. Channels on either side are yin-yang pairs. Also, six yin channels can be understood as hand and foot tie-in channels, hand and foot xiaoyin channels, and hand and foot jiayin channels. Six yang channels are the same. Hand and foot yang ming channels, hand and foot taiyang channels, and hand and foot xiaoyang channels. The flow of qi in the 12 primary channels begins at the lung channel. From the middle of the body, qi goes along the inner aspect of the arms to the hands, then moves onto the large intestine channel from the hands along the outer aspect of the arms to the head. Then the stomach channel from the head along the outer aspect of the legs to the feet, and then the spleen channel from the feet along the inner aspect of the legs returning to the body. Qi has circulated once and it will move onto the heart channel to start the second circuit. At the end of the third circuit around the body, Qi in the liver channel we enter the lung channel to repeat the circulation process. That sums up the 12 primary channels and let's move on to the 12 diversion channels. Each primary channel has its own diversion channel, so there are 12 primary channels and 12 diversion channels. The external pathways of the primary channels are superficial, so we can stimulate with acupuncture needles. On the other hand, the diversion channels are deeper pathways. For that reason, there are no acupuncture points for the diversion channel. Even though they don't have acupuncture points, they are important because they not only strengthen the yin-yang relationship between the internally externally repaired channels and zhengfu organs, but also integrate the areas of body that are not traversed by the primary channels. The divergent channel of the yang primary channel separates from the primary channel on the links, enters both the primary channel's yang organ and the internally externally related yin organ, comes out at the supraclavicular fossa, neck or face, and then rejoins the primary channel. The divergent channel of the yin primary channel separates from the primary channel on the limbs, enters the primary channel's yin organ, connects with the divergent channel of the internally externally related yang primary channel, and then joins the yang primary channel. Next is the 15 low connecting channels. The 15 lower connecting channels are made of 13 lower connecting channels of the 12 primary channels and the 2 lower connecting channels of the conception and governing vessels. There are 13 lower connecting channels from the 12 primary channels because the spleen channel actually has 2 lower connecting channels. The conception and governing vessels are 2 of the 8 extraordinary vessels which we will learn more in the future. The lower connecting channels come out from the main channels at the lower connecting points and connects with the internally externally paired channels and organs. So the divergent channels and lower connecting channels are similar in strengthening the relationship between the internally externally paired channels and zhengfu organs. But the lower connecting channels are more superficial than the divergent channels and they have acupuncture points unlike the divergent channels. These are overall trends of channel pathway. Keep in mind that not all divergent and low connecting channels strictly follow these pathways. And lastly, the 12 sinew channels and 12 cutaneous regions. They follow the pathway of their associated primary channels and they are much broader and superficial than the primary channels. So that was the introduction to TCM anatomy and now we are ready to learn more. In the next video, we will start with the lung channel of hand tie-in.